Something a lot of people tend to struggle with when building a PC is those pesky front panel headers. And that's not, well, really very surprising. For a new builder, it can be a pretty daunting experience looking at these random little bits of plastic and trying to figure out where they go and which way. So I'm here to help. Now, firstly, take a look at your front panel connectors. You'll find one of two types. The harder to install type where everything is split up into its own individual connector, and then the easier type where everything is all in one convenient block. If you have the latter, then this will be easy as it can only go in one way. So just line it up, push it in and away you go. If you have the former, however, things are a little trickier, but still pretty easy once you know what you're doing. To start, take a look at the connectors. You'll notice that they all have text on them saying what they're for. Perfect. So where do they go? Well, some motherboards feature a printed guide directly on the PCB above the pins. So if this is the case for you, then simply match the guide and make sure your text is facing upwards. If you don't have that guide, then be sure to check your motherboard manual as that will feature a handy illustration of the pins, allowing you to see exactly where they need to go. The connectors will also have an arrow on the back, which corresponds to the positive pin, just for that extra level of confirmation. And there you have it. The front panel headers are installed. Hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, let us know in the comments section what you'd like to see next.